Hello and welcome to Under the Hard Hat. This is a safety podcast for the construction industry and my name is Brian Mesmer at Mesmer Safety on all the social medias. Today is Wednesday, March 2nd and this week's Toolbox Talks we're going to talk about the slips, trips and falls in mud. Uh, The reason we're talking about this is because they continue to be a major injury cause throughout all API group companies. So without further ado, here is the Toolbox Talks. The walking surfaces on a construction site can be a hazard to the workers moving around the site. Construction sites are in a constant state of change. Care must be exercised every day as you move about the work site. As the ice and snow melt, mud begins to form and build up on project sites. Also with, uh, what is this saying? With April showers, bring May. So we're going to start seeing more rain. And we also have the, like I said, the ice and snow melting, therefore water, dirt, mud. Slips and falls result from the unintended or unexpected change between the feet and the walking surface. Mud can cause a worker to lose traction and can result in a fall. Typical injuries from slipping or falling in mud can result in contusions, sprains and strains, lacerations and fractures. So we must reduce our slips in the mud. Avoid working in or around muddy surfaces if possible. Pipeline guys, probably not gonna be able to avoid that. Remove mud from boots before entering clean buildings. That's just polite. Uh, Create clean walkways. Also by removing the mud from the bottom of your shoes, you're creating the traction that you would need. And typically clean buildings are slippy. Uh, Wear work boots with slip resistant soles. And take your time when walking on muddy muddy surfaces. Pay attention to where you're going. If you have the ability to use a handrail, use it. And that is today's Toolbox Talk. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, Also, a reminder, March is Ladder Safety Month. So uh, there is an app out there. It's uh, called the NIOSH Ladder Safety App. That's N-I-O-S-H. NIOSH. That's a National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health. Um, And they have a ladder safety app. And essentially, they have tips and tricks. They have lots of uh, um, information about ladders, which I know most people don't really care about. But also, they have an angle finder. So you know if you have the correct angle on your ladder, the 75-degree angle. And it's all on your phone. So you could download that to your phone or your iPad. If you do download that, take a screenshot and send it to me and we'll enter you into uh, some kind of giveaway, whether that's swag or gift card or I don't know yet. I I literally just thought about that on the spot. So did not plan it, but we're going to do it now. Also, if you are working from ladders, we want to see the pictures. We want to see how you set up your ladder. We want to see who is working from the ladder. So take a picture and send it in. And the same type of thing, we'll do some kind of giveaway. Um, So please send your ladders, send your ladder photos, send your NIOSH ladder safety app screenshots uh, with your name. And we'll figure that out from there. Uh, If you have questions, please reach out to your company safety representative, or you can message me directly. Uh, I'm obviously at Mesmer Safety on the Twitter, on the Instagram. Or you can email me, brian.mesmer at API Group. or apigroupinc.us. And don't forget to like, share, review, and subscribe to get the latest and greatest information. As always, thank you for listening and be safe.